guys welcome back to Ricola's crochet corner I am Crystal I am coming back with a quick video it's not too long I have only one thing to show you um, I was asked by Anaya's toy box to pattern test for her um, she is an amazing designer she does the best amigurumi ever <laughs> I, I'm in awe of her skills um, she uses wire in her dolls or in her pattern she suggests that if you use wire and I didn't have any wire if I did I would have used it because this doll needs I think this doll could benefit from having wire so I did try to put something in the neck but it's still kind of flopping but that's okay I love the doll anyway so here she is I will link her pattern down below I will link her shop where you can go get her pattern i will link everything you need to find her her youtube channel she does have a youtube channel i will link that down below so she's got some little shoes i actually overstuffed the feet so the shoes keep falling off so i'm going to um i'm going to crochet like a chain just across them just to keep them on her feet a little bit better just because i overstuffed the feet um and if i had put wire i wish i had put wire because she also has a cute little summer bag and if she if i had put wire her hand would turn like her arm would turn and then she could hold the bag better right now it just slides off kind of thing but it's really cute so and her little romper comes off it does come off i'm not going to bother showing it coming off but it does come off and she does have um the, in the pattern she tells you to crochet like underwear so if she has the romper off it has like underwear on the bottom so it's really cute um, the hair was my best, like my favorite part. I do love the hair, the curls, so cute. And then I just put some little earrings that we had, like my daughters had some, we don't have pierced ears in the house, so they had a few um, from Ardeen's or whatever. They had some mystery bags where they got a bunch of earrings. So I was like, oh, perfect. We'll put some earrings in her ears. I have never made a doll with ears, so this was really, really cool. I think I will always have dolls like this with ears so I can do the earring thing. I think that is cute. Um, she gives you the option to do either the safety eyes, which I did just because I didn't want to um, crochet the super small eyes. I wanted to do, like the eyes that she does are beautiful. The crocheted eyes, if you have the time and the you know, you, my hands are starting to hurt now with small hooks. I don't know why. They never used to. I used to love doing amigurumi and I used to always use small hooks. And now I'm like 375 is killing my hands um, to use. So I went up to a four with this, this doll and she still looks pretty good. She still looks really neat. She's still gorgeous. I love this doll. Um, I actually have somebody who already wants her. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, no, she's really easy to make. Really simple. Uh, you crochet the arms no, I'm trying to remember yeah you crochet the arms and then you crochet the legs and then you attach the legs and then you go up and then you crochet the arms right to her so that's all done and then you crochet and the head is attached to the body so there's no sewing there the only sewing you have to do is the hair cap and then the glasses and the ears and then if you decide to do the crochet eyes, you'd have to um, crochet those and sew them on. Other than that, that's all the sewing that there was. So that's really not that much sewing. Um, I think anybody could do this doll. I think an, a beginner can do the doll. The, the stitches are simple. Um, there's not a lot of sewing. Like I said, all you have to sew on is the hair. Like this piece is separate. You sew that onto the hair cap once the hair cap is on the head. And you sew the glasses onto the head and the ears. That is really it. And if you have the eyes, that's it. That's like not very much at all. So anybody could make this pattern. I would recommend putting something in there like crocheting with wire. And she does recommend it. Uh, just so that you can be have her more flexible and more bendy. And then, like I said, she'd have her arm up a little bit. And then it would hold the purse better. Um, and her neck. If you put more wire in there, it would stay solid. I tried a straw because that's why I didn't have much because we're moving my craft room. So, but it's very flimsy. So not the best idea to put a straw in there. But anyway, I tried. <laughs> so this is her doll pattern. 
I will be putting all her links in the description box down below. I hope you guys like her and I hope you guys give her a try. She has other patterns too and other gorgeous dolls. Um, she makes a lot of gorgeous dolls. So I will link her everything down below. So if you guys can, please go check her out. She has a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to her channel. And that's it. That's all I got. All right. So bye guys.